Knowledge out here at Monte Juni's Italian Cafe and Grocery. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Knowledge Hunt. Let the good times roll. So we're changing things up a little bit in this episode as we're heading to Baton Rouge, Louisiana to eat at Monjuni's Italian Cafe and Grocery, which is located at 711 Jefferson Highway, number 4A, which is about one hour and 80 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Now, I have to say that there's a bit of a contentious relationship between New Orleans and Baton Rouge, which is probably best summed up in the book, A Confederacy of Dunces, where we can quote Ignatius J. Riley saying, the only excursion in my life outside of New Orleans took me through the vortex to the whirlpool of despair, Baton Rouge. So I have to say that in my experience eating in restaurants in Baton Rouge until Montjuni's, I've been 100% totally disappointed in the service and food that I've eaten in Baton Rouge. Now, if you're from Baton Rouge and know better restaurants, please comment below and let me know. As so far, I haven't had a whole lot of good luck until Montjuni's here. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So exactly like the name says, this is both an Italian cafe and a grocery. So they do have quite a nice variety of different items you can shop for and buy. And they also offer some pretty interesting things that you might want to check out before you sit down to eat. They also have some prepared foods already in the cooler you can take to go as well. So you should always uh, double check before you leave here to see if there's anything you might like to take with you. Now, they do have a nice, interesting dining room area that seems to be a long, narrow style dining room reminiscent of a lot of New Orleans style shotgun houses and buildings. So you can see they do have a pretty decent amount of seating in here overall. So it is a pleasant looking experience with a lot of artwork and all the lighting up in the ceiling there. So it certainly does provide for a pleasant looking environment all around. Now let's check out the menu. So we have starters with Cajun shrimp toast, fried green tomatoes, caprese salad, eggplant stack, toasted ravioli, fried calamari, meatball nachos, Sicilian breadsticks, eggplant spears, classic meatball or Italian sausage, fried mozzarella balls. Then we have salads with Italian house, Caesar, Venetian chicken salad, pasta salad, Italian shrimp salad, chop salad, salad sampler, marinated artichoke salad, Monjuni's Light, an Apple Gorgonzola Salad, and Fried Crawfish Salad. Then we have Mama's Special Recipes with Spaghetti, Lasagna, Italian Sampler, Neapolitan, and then Italian Favorites with Shrimp Spaghetti Marinara, Baked Rigatoni, Baked Cheese Ravioli, Fettuccine Alfredo, Combo Plates with Spaghetti Combo, House Specialties with Shrimp and Eggplant Extraordinaire, Shrimp Aurora, Chicken or Eggplant Parmesan, Ville Parmesan, you can add a house Caesar or pasta side salad and frozen Italian margaritas. Then we have the lunch menu with spaghetti and sauce, lasagna, Neapolitan stuffed pasta, fettuccine alfredo, toasted ravioli, fried eggplant with seafood sauce, salad and sandwich. Then po' boys with meatball, smoked turkey, porkies or genoa, Italian sausage, hot roast beef, fried shrimp, parmesan po' boys with eggplant veal or chicken, and muffalettas with original turkey and veggie and add garlic parmesan french fries to your order for $3.95. Then we have a selection of wine with red, white, and then beverages of fountain drinks, bottled water, iced tea or coffee, and take to Monjuni's home. We'll take a look in the freezer for our take and bake entrees. Then we get a nice selection of various cocktails if you're in the mood for some of those. Then we have desserts with tiramisu, lemon cream cake, almond cream cake, bread pudding, chocolate mousse cake, cannoli, white chocolate, raspberry, cream cake. So we get to start out with a little French garlic bread with some marinara sauce. Oh, so this looks rather tasty, I have to say. So let's give it a sample. The red gravy moment is always a moment of truth. And mm, okay, so there's some good flavors here. And the garlicky French bread goes quite well with the sauce. Now, for my entree, I got lasagna with the salad here. Oh, yeah. So, let's dig in. This is quite a large serving of lasagna for a lunch portion, I have to say. So, I'm rather impressed with the overall size. And here we go with the first taste test. And hey, 
good flavors all around. I'm a big fan of a good lasagna. Sometimes the lasagna is not good, but this one has a lot of great flavors. There's uh, plenty of ooey gooey cheese, as you can see, as I'm definitely getting a lot, some nice strings of melted cheese all over right here. So that's always a good time when it's hot enough to be ooey gooey, but not so hot you burn your mouth. So I'm very happy that it is that perfect temperature of having ooey gooey cheese, but not so hot it's gonna burn my tongue if that's never a pleasant first bite. So far, each and every bite has been full of flavor and plenty of that ooey gooey delicious cheese. I do love that a nice lasagna. The noodles of the lasagna are cooked perfectly as well. So this is an all around pleasant experience eating this. So I have been enjoying everything in this meal so far. The structural integrity of the lasagna seems to overall be holding together pretty decently. It's uh, falling apart a little bit though. I certainly have had lasagnas that seem to maintain structural integrity a bit better than this one. Uh, overall though, the flavor is what's important to me and they definitely have got that flavor part down the way I like it in here. So we're certainly having lots of delicious bites with each and every time I get to get into another forkful of this lasagna. So certainly there's a, a lot to be said for the flavor alone as it's certainly hitting all those things that I want to see in a lasagna. So it's perfectly proportioned with amounts of sauce in it, the meat in it, the cheese in it, everything seems to be going together very well so that each and every bite has a bit of all of those things together in the way that you want them. So the proportions of everything seem to be pretty darn worked out in a way that works pretty uh, fantastically for the end result here. So I'm quite happy that I've got something that's finally delicious and good in Baton Rouge and the service has also been pretty awesome so far. I'm not sure for whatever reason or long-standing curse that I've had with my eating experiences in Baton Rouge as I've eaten from the Governor's Mansion all the way to many other restaurants and many, many years of Baton Rouge trips. And so far, this is by far my best experience. <laughs> okay, we're gonna test the salad out now. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so some good flavors there. Another little amount of uh, shredded cheese on top because we need a little more cheesiness on our salad to go with the cheesiness of our lasagna. Ooh. So the greens are nice and fresh. Little tomatoes chopped in there also have some nice fresh flavors. And they've got a nice little Italian dressing on there that goes pretty darn good with all of these greens as well. So it's a small little salad, but it's a pleasant little salad certainly. And uh, I think it's a perfect proportion size for what you want at lunch, along with this larger size of lasagna. I think it all goes together quite nicely. And then when you add in the French bread that you also get with some sauce, you are not going out of here hungry by the time you finish your lunch here, it seems like. So I'm uh, definitely getting close to being full, but it's so tasty, I wanna keep on till the end. I've gotta totally destroy it because, ooh, I'm going further to Lafayette, so I've got nowhere to take it with me, so I'm not gonna waste it. So I gotta polish off this whole dish. And it is an interesting thing that I've heard a lot of people talk about that somehow with Baton Rouge being between the food meccas of Lafayette and Acadiana with all the Cajuns and then down in New Orleans with the Creole tradition food that somehow Baton Rouge just really lacks a whole lot of delicious flavors and foods like those other areas do. So in Acadiana, around Lafayette and all the other areas surrounding it, along with New Orleans, there's a whole lot of great food. And you're really gonna have a much harder time finding bad food than good food in those areas typically. Where Baton Rouge, uh, like I've mentioned, I've had a whole lot of less than impressive food. A lot of uh, mediocre to bad food and lots of bad service, unfortunately. So this is a great experience, finally. So just like I totally destroyed this lasagna, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this lasagna. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So, of course, I also could not resist trying out the chocolate mousse cake. Ooh, look at this, it looks fantastic. Ooh, this looks very chocolatey delicious. Mmm, ooh. 
give this a little sample and oh yes, it is definitely chocolatey chocolate delicious on many levels. There are a lot of layers of flavors of chocolatey goodness in here. Oh my goodness. This uh, chocolatey mousse cake has a lot of wonderful textures and flavors all the way around with a little bit of a different chocolate flavor in each one of them. I'm really enjoying each and every bite. And uh, as you can tell, it's going down very fast here. So I am thoroughly happy with this dessert. And uh, I would certainly suggest anybody that visits here should get this anytime they're here. Because if you're a chocolate fan, this certainly hits all those chocolate flavors that you crave and need. And a little sad of the last bite. And now, just like I've totally destroyed the chocolate mousse cake, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this chocolate mousse cake. And while you're down there, make sure to check out things to my Patreon accounts. I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $26.55. So, thanks so much to everybody at Monjuni's for some fantastic food and great service. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially on Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your contacts and friends that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.